Welcome to the Sandro channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And today, I wanted to take a quick little break from cartoon news for just for this video, folks, just for today. And talk about DC Comics. Like, what a disaster the comic industry has been. Oh my lord. Um, you know, things over the last 10 years have really gone south you know i like to imagine an avalanche and you know maybe 10 years ago we 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 peaked we peaked we hit the top and it's all been downhill just non-stop downhill from here the comic book industry is a disaster it really is back in the 90s early 2000s you would see books selling like a million copies no problem Nowadays, <laughs> you would be lucky to sell a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand of a single issue, it, it, and and not only that, it's like they are literally reclassifying what even constitutes a comic book nowadays. We're the sales of comics are so low; they're literally you know combining graphic novels and and goddamn manga from Japan, calling these things comic books. And trying to make it look like the industry is doing okay. We're doing okay. You're not doing okay. You're making shit like this. <laughs> oh my god. I, I truly can't believe this, folks. I I you just can't make this shit up. You just can't make it like who thinks of this? Like, I don't understand. But uh it's not the first time we've seen this from Marvel or DC. We know that there's a huge push in the background for all of this activism, this wokeness, this craziness the diversity push non-stop 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 they've been doing it for i i don't even know since what 2010 20 2008 the financial crisis since around that time things have been getting really bad so i've heard some people say that once they uh once marvel comics sold that book what was it miss marvel you guys remember that kamala khan she was that like brown superhero that can make her fists really big uh or muslim she was like a muslim or something that character, she, her first issue of her book did really well. And usually whenever the first, when you introduce a new hero, right, it's going to sell really well. And what seems to have happened here, in my opinion, I don't know, uh, is that Marvel and DC saw the sale. They're like, oh, we haven't had a new character sell that well in a while. They, in their mind, thought that people wanted, uh, you know, all this, all this shit. They wanted, uh, you know, new characters with the wokeness and the activists, uh, uh, activism. And they thought we wanted all this shit and, uh, we didn't, we, 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 we did. Maybe some people do, maybe some people do, but, uh, there's been an overabundance of it for the last 10 years. There's been a lot of new, uh, characters getting replaced. You guys might remember, uh, things like all new, all different where they came in one by one, they started to uh, demasculate all of the white male heroes, right? All of the women suddenly became super geniuses that were all best friends with each other all the time. And they had no flaws. They could do no wrong. And um, all of the men demasculated and quickly replaced by diversity heroes, right? So Iron Man got replaced by a black girl named Riri Williams, Really weird story there where Riwi Williams literally asked her white teacher to oppress her. It was such a <laughs> such a baffling story. You guys should really go check. What was it? Iron Heart number one? Or I, I don't even know what I, I I don't know. Please, God. Actually, don't read it. Don't support this trash. Uh, but you could go online. You could go on YouTube and just type in something like Riri Williams oppress, uh, asks her teacher to oppress her. What a baffling book. Who is this shit for? I don't understand. Uh, but yeah, we, we, you know, not only that, we got like a black Spider-Man. We got, there's Miss Marvel herself with her creepy ass big fists. We got um, things like even Ant-Man, I think, got replaced by, was it his wife or his, the, the wasp or I, I don't even, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember, but, uh, or was it his daughter? It might've been his daughter. Uh, you know, Thor, this big muscular man, this God, right? This God like character gets replaced by Jane Foster with cancer. Okay. <laughs> like, 
Uh, and then I, I never, there, uh, there's like an insignia on the hammer that's like whoever he may be can wield this hammer. And then they put the S in front of she. And then they made a big deal of that shit. And then the sales of Female 4 were doing so well for like five whole issues. And then they became less than the original four. You know, so they, they kept trying and trying. Sam Wilson as Captain America, you know, literally all of these characters slowly got like replaced or they, they try to get rid of, you know, like even X-23 trying to like, you know, get into the spotlight as Wolverine, even though she's a different character and it just goes on and on. Then they had a different Ghost Rider. What was the guy's name? Robbie Reyes or something. I, I don't know. They started to replace their Amadeus Cho as the Asian Hulk. They tried to replace all these different characters. Then, I think at the time, like, DC was still in the new, what was it, the new 52, right? And uh, they were, once they saw Marvel doing all this shit, slowly over time, DC started to make uh, similar situations. They started to replace their characters. There was even plans to do this big, like, 5G, right? It was, like, five generations where... All of your favorite characters, you know, the Justice League, they were all going to get wiped out and replaced with these garbage, like, weird characters that nobody asked for and nobody wanted. And, uh, you know, th there's just been a huge push to get rid of the white characters. That's what I've been seeing here. And uh, we've been seeing god-awful writing, god-awful writers that can't keep their mouth shut on social media. And they keep pushing activism, specifically left-wing activism. Uh, in their books, and a lot of it is just some woke ass garbage. Okay, folks, and uh, you know, again, not just limited to Marvel. DC itself has been doing some garbage shit. In fact, you might remember one of my earliest videos on this channel was when I talked about um, this book. Remember this book? <laughs> what was it called? Swimming in Dead. Okay, so they go and make like a weird book. They try to make like a new character here. So DC Comics' newest superhero, Whistle. They made a new character named Whistle, uh, is a woke social activist, no joke. So basically, did I spell volunteer wrong? Whoops. <laughs> there we go. I fixed it. Yeah, basically, they had this, like, character. She works, or she volunteers at a pet shelter, and uh, apparently she had some, like, power to talk to the dead. I I'm reading my old description here, but... When she wasn't volunteering at a pet shelter and she wasn't uh, vaguely trying to be a superhero, she was out there. She literally was like an activist. She was a part-time volunteer, part-time activist. This is the character, by the way, in the thumbnail. This character right here holding a sign. I can't even, what does that say? Tell City Hall, fund our schools. She was literally like a, a fucking activist, like a straight-up activist. And, um, this was, this was only, I think like a few months after this, uh, DC comics changed black lightning or sorry, not uh black, Light, static shock or no, his name is just static, right? Not stat. The, the cartoon was called static shock, but static, right? It's static. They actually changed his origin story to make his background part of the, of the BLM. You might remember George Floyd and the black lives matter. They literally tried to incorporate Black Lives Matter into his new origin story. It was so weird. It was so uncomfortable and just disturbing. Uh, like, what the fuck? They're trying to use, like, a tragedy to, like, sell comment. Like, what the fuck were these people doing? I don't know. Disaster. Just disaster. They did this shit nonstop. They've been making all their characters gay and bisexual, like Superman's son and... You know, one of the Robins came out a few months ago, too. Nonstop, just they've been destroying all their characters, demasculating them, and all the women can never do any wrong, and they're perfect, and, you know, all friends with each other. Uh, and, oh, don't forget, they are, they're always eating snacks together. We, we don't get battles anymore. You know, we don't get battles anymore. We get snack time with a lot of these comics. But um, we've gone to a new... Uh, <laughs> We've, we, we've once again hit one of those lows, right? So every, every now and again, we get one of those stories, like the one I just covered. Uh, I originally covered on my YouTube channel when I first started, uh, you know, again, static, uh, having an origin story rooted in black lives matter. Um, we've seen all a bunch of these characters becoming gay on the Marvel end. We saw that epic proportion disaster when they did the whole, uh, what were they, the new warriors where they had like, oh my God, what was it? Snowflake space, safe space. 
the, the guy with the internet gas, what was his name? Screensaver or some shit. Um, I don't remember the other one. There was like a fat girl that was like Trek. I don't, she looked like Dora the Explorer. She was like an Indian Dora the Explorer with a backpack. And, and then there was like a vampire. <laughs> it, it was something. Else. Wait, well, let's get a picture. Let's get a visual just to, to remind you of the fucking disaster. Marvel New Warriors. They had like, yeah, Safe Space and Snowflake, which were like non-binary. Yeah, there we go. We got fat. Like this had to be the wokest thing that has ever been put to. Pr I, I don't even think they printed this. They didn't. They never actually made this. Uh, it got such a backlash that I don't think it ever released. But uh, yeah, you have Mr. Internet Gas over here, whatever the fuck. Uh, so Asian guy with Internet Gas. Uh, one of these two is like non-binary or maybe both of them were. Uh, this is Snowflake, which is quite the name. Uh, and then, of course, Safe Space. Uh, and people thought this people thought this was a joke. They're like, is this some kind of like right wing like mockery of like Marvel comic? Oh no, no, no. This was re they had gone so woke, they had be they literally self-parodied their own wokeness without realizing it. It, it was something else, man. Then we have this uh, weird, you know, left side of hair vampire. You know, I like to call this the woke wig. That's what I like to name that there. Uh, the Brie Larson special here. And, or uh, what's it? Captain Marvel. Uh, you know, the, the hair combed to one side. And then, of course, we have Fat Dora the Explorer indigenous woman here. So uh, yeah, these are the kind of teams they're making nowadays, you know. Uh, these, are the th these are the kind of things they want people to buy. But they're not popular. No one gives a shit about these characters. This was a disaster. This might have been the biggest disaster in comic books since, like, the... <laughs> oh, my God. Since, like, um, what happened in the 90s again? There was, like, a comic bust where, you know, people realized their comics weren't as valuable as they thought they were. And huge disaster for the comic. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this might have been on that level, okay? <laughs> Uh, it was just something else. And we, we just keep seeing it every few months. There's the headlines that something or other has changed or, you know, maybe they kill off a character, or replace a character. And, uh, now we're getting a pregnant Joker. So here we go. We're on Washington examiner DC comic slam for going woke with new pregnant Joker. Uh, this one was by Heather Hamilton. A uh, social media reporter. DC Comics critics are reacting to a newly released. Hey, that's me. I, I'm a D today. I'm a I'm a DC comic critic. Usually a cartoon news guy, but no, no, no. We're coming in here. We're coming in. Uh, <laughs> so a newly released backup storyline featuring Batman villain the Joker as a pregnant, calling it. Wait, what's Batman villain the Joker as pregnant? So they released, uh, sorry, let me reread this. DC Comics critics are reacting to a newly released backup storyline featuring Batman villain, the Joker, as pregnant, calling it massive toxicity and woke behavior. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. You, that, that is an understatement. What is this shit? In the Joker, the man who stopped laughing, number four, a backup story titled Knocked Upside Down shows Joker getting pregnant after nemesis magician Zatanna casts a spell on him. And I, by the way, Zatanna is one of my favorite characters. I always said, see, I always thought Martian Manhunter was broken. Okay, I guess you could make the, the case that Zatanna is even more broken than, you know, Martian Manhunter. But like, man, Martian Manhunter was so cheap. He he could read minds. He had stretchy powers. He could go through intangibility, you know. And his only weakness was like fire. <laughs> but like Zatanna, if they depowered her down and only gave her like a small handful of spells, right? They could just say, you know, she's like maybe only like 25. She only knows a couple of spells, right? They could depower her down and make her not as powerful you know, I always, I don't know. I always thought Zatanna should be on the Justice League and Martian Manhunter. My God. And Cyborg too. I don't know. Cyborg kind of boring. I think he's really good on the Teen Titans. Uh, if you guys have ever seen the 2005 Teen Titans cartoon, he is so good there. Oh my God. I love Cyborg in that show. I just never jived with him on the Justice League, but I always thought Zatanna was just such a cool character. Why Why can't we have magic, right? Like, we never get a good uh, Zatanna movie or a show. They just never want to do anything with Zatanna. I don't know why. I'm one of my favorite DC characters of all time. But, uh, yeah. 
So Zatanna casts a spell on him for some unholy reason, resulting in him giving birth throughout a glorified dream sequence. What? Uh, so was it real then, or was it a dream sequence? Uh, backlash stirred across social media as a panel from the new comic story storyline began to circulate. So here it is. Uh, Varon Apal. Massive toxicity and woke behavior by DC Comics. Seriously, something needs to be done to weed out this idiotic behavior. Uh, it's it's the writers. It's it's the writers. They're all trash and they're all activists. Why? Well, okay, not all of them. Not all. It, it, that's hyperbolic to say that. But most of them are trash, and most of them need to be, like he says, weeded the fuck out. Uh, so here we go. Why the hell did they make Joker pregnant? <laughs> oh, good God. What a disaster. And um, this character here, if I'm not, I, I watched the Brave and the Bold cartoon as a kid. Um, you guys remember that one? It was like in the early 2000s, I think. Uh, it was a Batman cartoon on Cartoon Network. I think this character's name is Gaggy. Like uh, Joker's rare sidekick, Gaggy. He he comes up, he, he shows up every now and again, Gaggy. I think this is Gaggy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this says, do we have a good Obgin? we use what do we have a good obgin we use i think you're right oh sorry sorry i've been reading this wrong i think sorry i was reading this like manga for so okay i think you're pregnant i think you're right do we have a good obgin we use i don't even uh, what does that even mean ob am i reading that wrong obgin obgin i don't i don't even know i <laughs> I don't even know. How can you even tell he's pregnant? It's a man. Wouldn't you just say, like, maybe he's just bloated? Like, who the fuck would come to the conclusion that a man's pregnant? I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. Massive toxicity and woke behavior by DC Comics. A tweet stated, seriously, something needs to be done to weed out this idiotic behavior. Why did they make Joker pregnant? Uh, yeah, why not do it to a female, you know? <laughs> Jesus. Comic reviewer writer uh, Teresa Campagna called it probably the worst story and noted, I don't know how much longer I could do this. Uh, here's Jester Bell. She says, today DC released a comic in which the Joker becomes pregnant and gives birth to a mud monster. What the hell? Uh, who transforms into a child version of himself who he, who he adopts as a son? What the heck? I don't know how much longer I can do this. Yeah, yeah, every, this industry, I don't, how is it alive still? I don't know how, where's David Zaslav? Where's the chop? Where's the, <laughs> this man has been chopping all the shit and somehow the comics are still alive. I don't understand. Um, you know, I love comics. I don't want to see DC comics end, but like, we need to get somebody in here to clean house, get rid of the shit that isn't selling, get rid of the authors that aren't producing, and goddamn restart, like, literally, just fire everyone and get a fresh batch of people in there. My god. Uh, this is one of those comics you can't really review because there's no real story or artistic vision to pick apart, Campagna said, and, uh, and they said, they also said, Writing aside, however, there has been a lot of these little moments or stories at DC lately that make me go, how the heck did DC editorial give that a green light? Well, it's because <laughs> they're probably activists and they don't give a shit about if the books sell or not. Uh, Orange Hat Reviews pointed out that the comic was not intending to make Joker transgender. Um... So this person says here, according to full context, the pregnant Joker thing is because Zatanna casts a spell on him for pissing her off, not because he was transgender. This is the reward for being patient before flexing your outrage. Better to have the most context available. Uh, this person says, I'm mad because it's just a dumb storyline, a totally dumb thing to do. Yeah, there's just no reason to do this. Like this, you know, like, are they trying to get headlines that'll like, uh, this doesn't make me want to buy books. Even if it's, even if it's a Zatanna, you know, like even if it was a weird Zatanna storyline where she's punishing Joker as a joke, it's it, like, this does not make me want to ever go buy a comic book. What people want are really good storylines with their favorite characters. Is, is it that hard? It, apparently it's that hard. Uh, so yeah, again, this guy is just dumb because it's a dumb storyline, a total dumb thing to do. Yeah. It's like you're spending money to put print this shit and this is the story you come up with. I I'm shocked. You know, 
Actually, maybe I shouldn't be shocked because literally every four months we get a, a disaster out of either Marvel, Marvel or DC. One of the two produces utter shit that outwokes the rest. Others shrugged. Okay, we're going to go back in here. Others shrugged aside the context and called the storyline a totally dumb thing to do. Regardless, the Joker, the man who stopped laughing, uh, number four's writer, Matthew Rosenberg, reportedly mocked his story's critics. Yeah, what a joke. Uh, why am I not surprised? You know, like, why am I not surprised they're on social media attacking the fans again? Uh, the reason people are mad at me today is the funniest reason people have ever been mad at me. Rosenborg wrote in a tweet that has since been deleted. Oh, why'd you delete that? Hmm, I wonder. Um, by the way, why doesn't DC Comics have like a social media policy where their writers can't promote? Or like, wh why do they let their fucking people on social media literally put a policy in place and stop these people from, ta you know, like disparaging and attacking the fans for the love of God? Like, <laughs> this guy... This guy should be, I, I don't know, is that too harsh to say he should be let go for this? But, like, you know, literally attacking the fans, just like, making garbage storylines so you could have a joke? You know, like, what the hell? I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe for April, maybe if you did this for April Fool's, it would have been slightly better received. But, like, it's January. And nobody, you know, this is a slow time for everyone. So people are going to really pick up on garbage like this, you know. Uh, so the latest storyline follows DC Comics' previous announcement, uh, announcement about a comic featuring a bisexual Superman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there's Superman's son. Oh, wait, is this a different one? A bisexual, isn't that his son? That's the bisexual one? Uh, yeah, and he's, like, uh, he's dating, like, a pink-haired terrorist or something. I don't, uh, good lord, man. Good, or no, is it an eco-terrorist? Yeah. Uh, just trash. <laughs> just trash. Oh, my God. I, I just, like, my, I feel like my subscribers could come together. Literally, this is not a joke. I, I've never met any of my subscribers in real life. Every Tuesday I do a live stream, we could probably come together and somehow collaborate to make a better book than the shit that these people are actually making these days. It, it, it's, it's a sad, it's, 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 it's miserable. It's sad. It, you know, I want to say it's a joke, but it's not a joke. It's, it's just really depressing that they're, they're destroying their own company. Like, I, I don't know what to make of this. Like, it's like, who would buy this? Who is this for? That's my, who would pick this up, right? Like who would hear a story about a pregnant joker and, and want to go buy this? Like, I, I don't see an audience. And um, again, that's why they're clumping everything, graphic novels, manga, and comic books. It's all one industry. We're so healthy, guys. We have the healthiest industry that we had to clump all things together to make it look like we're growing. We're not growing. We're making disasters month over month, okay? And uh, that's where I'm going to leave it here. I've been rambling on for 20 minutes. Uh, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Will you ever pick them? We got to do a poll. We got to do a poll. Will you pick up this trash book? <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to vote yes. I, I, you know, I, something tells me uh, that nobody wants. Maybe as a joke, they'll press yes when I do a community poll. But uh, my God, guys, my God, I just like, what are they going to come up with next? And how much longer can this go on for before somebody comes in and says, guys, we're cleaning house. Just clean the house already, please, for the love of God. Uh, and I am worried because it's this is not the only area of, you know, Warner Bros. where or even the comic book. We're seeing this in the entertainment industry as a whole. There's been a lot of garbage shows. We used to get so much good shows as in the early 2000s, right? And uh, nowadays, the only, you know, I don't know, the only action shows that I'm, I'm looking forward to this year are like Invincible and Batman Cape Crusader, which, you know, there was even a scare there. We thought that one was canceled by David Zaslav, but it's, it turns out it's still coming out. Uh, but it, it's just, we're doing Batman again. I, I like Invincible. It's a fresh take. I, I feel like we're going places. There's villains. There's excitement. There's even a bit of romance in there. Uh, I, I like Invincible. And uh, I would recommend it to you if you haven't been watching it. But other than that, just not a lot to go off of. Just not as much as we had in the early 2000s. And it's just really sad. It's really sad to see, like I've been saying. And I, I just pray. I'm going to put my hands together and say I pray for a better entertainment industry. 
Uh, we're in the new year here. We're in January. I pray that for the rest of 2023, things will get better. That's what I pray for. It, not just the entertainment industry, the whole world, right? We're in a pretty dark place, a lot of inflation. I hope everything gets better. Okay, folks, that's going to be the end of the video. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And uh, why not watch an ad for your boy, Sandro? Thank you guys so much. Hey, at least I want to give you guys a book where <laughs> Joker's getting pregnant. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Yes, please subscribe today and watch an ad. Thank you. God bless. See you guys later. And let's pray to God no more shit like this comes our way. Bye-bye.